So I'm here to talk to you guys today about self-development and my top five recommended books for real estate agents to read. If you could do me just a, fit, a quick favor, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay and uh, see me okay here on the screen. Um, but uh, <clears throat> also, in regards to the topic that I'm covering with you guys today, I have an in-depth guide for you uh, where I go through and I'm breaking down these top five books for you. So in order to get a copy of your guide, if you're watching here on Facebook Live, all you have to do is comment in either your favorite top all-time personal book or uh, any, any area that you're struggling with right now inside your real estate business that you're looking for a recommended book or some type of a self-development that I might be able to give you some recommendations on to help you get to the next level with that. Um, all right, so let's just dive on in. Uh, and again, my guys, if you comment that, you are going to get a copy of this guide that breaks down all these books as a resource guide, 100% free uh, for you with that. All right, so the first things first, when it comes to overall self-development, uh, I'm just going to steal a, a, a quote from the famous Jim Rohn. Um, but Jim Rohn always talked about success not being a doing process, but success being a becoming process, not a doing process. So, so often we think that as we want to go out there and create more success, that we just got to go out there and take more action and do, do, do uh, uh, to, to go out there and create that action. I want to make sure, can one of you guys, if anybody's watching this, can you guys just comment? I want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay. Uh, this is the, the first time I've ever streamed to Facebook Live from my computer. I want to make sure that we're looking good here. And I'm not seeing any comments, so it's got me uh, a little nervous. Getting some likes, so hopefully that means that we're good to go. Um, but, uh, you know, the famous Jim Rohn, man, he, he hit the nail on the head with this. You know, so often, again, we start taking more action. All right, boom. Thank you so much, Dan. I truly appreciate it. Um, uh, so often we think that we got to go out there and take more action and just do more and more and more to go out there and, and get a better result. I'm not saying, I'm not one of these guys that's like, uh, you know, work smarter, not harder. We got to work smart and we got to work hard, but success is a becoming process. And what I mean by this is if you're making a hundred grand a year in your real estate business and you want to get to making 500 grand a year, you're going to have to become somebody different. The things that got you to 100 grand are not going to get you to, to half a million. You got to become the person first. You got to learn the habits, the rituals, the behaviors, and start adopting those disciplines and those habits before the fruits of your labor is going to show up. You know, a good analogy of this is like going to the gym. If I, if I, maybe I'm seeing somebody at the gym that has the body that I want to go out there and obtain. Well, dude, look, I got to find out, okay, what's that person's workout regimen? What's their supplementation? What's their diet? And I got to start going out there and doing those things and executing on those things and, and developing those right good habits before that, the, the, the results are going to show up, right? It may take a year or, or two of lag time before those results start to show up. So it's really important, you guys, um, to understand. If you want to become a liquid millionaire, start understanding what it takes and what the behaviors and disciplines and habits of liquid millionaires are and adopt those habits first. Then I have two rules that I want to share with you for self-development. Most people get self-development wrong. Most, most people, most real estate, not only just say uh, real estate agents, just entrepreneurs and people in general, uh, self-development becomes just entertainment. It becomes the same damn thing. Yeah. Right. Um, and we've got to be very careful to, to not allow that to, to be the case, right? We're self-developing for a reason. So here are my two rules for effective self-development. Number one, study the doers. You got to go out there and study the people that have done it, that have built what you're looking to build, created what you're looking to create. So I'm going to study, I'm going to learn from and, and get my information from the doers only, not from people that study the doers. So that's number one. All right. Number two, um, why does self-development exist? And, and again, this is, this is one of those that so many get wrong. So I really want you to pay attention because this is so damn important, you guys. Um, why self-development should exist in any of our worlds is to solve a problem that we are currently facing. So any podcast that you listen to, do, Facebook Live that you're streaming, book that you're reading, webinar that you jump on, coach that you're hiring, conference that you attend, class, whatever, anything that you partake in in regards to your self-development should exist to solve a current problem that you have. Not a problem that's going to come up in, in 10 years from now. I want to be looking at problems that, are, that I'm experiencing and facing right now. What are the current biggest obstacles? What are the current uh, biggest frustrations and problems that I'm facing? That if I solve these right now, 
I will then be that much further ahead and on track to going out there and accomplishing my goals. You know, right? So we first have to always be reflecting and identify, well, what are our biggest problems and obstacles? You know, right? Like whatever we're 2019 right now, right? So we're, we're coming among June 2019. It's May 21st as of right now when I'm doing this Facebook Live. You know, right? When you assess your 2019 goals, you know, are you on track? And when you, if, if the answer is no, or whatever the answer may be, you know, right? Like, like, what is it right now? What is the one problem, one, two, three problems that if you solve right now, you would be on track to accomplishing your goals, kicking ass and taking your business to the next level. And that is where your self-development comes in. You guys, and when you're, when you're working on your self-development, um, this, is, this is something that I wasted so many years of my life on, um, uh, applying this tactic. You know, we hear statistics out there, like the average CEO uh, reads 60 books a year. So I read that stat about 10 years ago, and I start cranking out a book a week, just nailing out a book a week, sometimes two books a week, just to get through books and build my library. And, you know, I, I, it was like an ego play, right? Because then you get back to it. And I, I would, I would uh, you know, be at my home office, and somebody might be looking at a book and ask me, well, hey, well, what was this book about? You know, like, tell me about it. Did you like it? And I'm sitting there thinking, well, shit, I know I read it, but I can't remember what the book is about. Um, and this is when you're getting advice from books from other people. This is also another, and this is, this is really part of these two rules, but something that we have to be cognizant of, right? I get so many book recommendations constantly. And the first thing that I do when I get a book recommendation is I ask them, all right, well, you know, thank you so much for the recommendation. Let me ask you this. What were the, what were, what was the biggest takeaway or, or the biggest few takeaways uh, that you got out of that book or that element of self-development that you did um, that you implement in your business and what is the overall impact been? And I'm telling you guys right now, 99.9% .9 is like staring, a deer staring in the headlights. Yeah, right. Um, uh, they, they read the book, you know, right? Maybe made, made it feel warm and fuzzy, motivated, made it feel good, but they're not taking action, implementing on that, which then it just becomes entertainment. It becomes what I call mental masturbation, right? Uh, uh, which we don't want to do. All right, so now let me jump into my top five recommended books for you guys. Uh, and again, if you want to download this guide, it'll be in color for you guys, uh, which breaks down all of these books. So you don't have to worry about writing them down, writing the titles down, writing the author down. All you have to do is comment in the comments right now. Um, I'd love to hear on your comment either what your favorite top all-time book has been that's had the biggest impact on either your business or your life that you want to share with others. Um, or uh, if you don't have a book, you know, share with us uh, uh, what your current biggest obstacle or problem that you're facing right now is and that you're looking for an element of self-development to help you overcome that. And I can do my best to chime in and maybe somebody else that's watching this is able to, uh, to help you with that. All right, so book number one, recommended book number one. And these are specific to real estate agents. Um, I'm going to tell you what the books are, who, who it's from, and, and why it's so important. So book number one is some, a book that we've all heard of, which is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And this is a book I've read probably about a dozen times now uh, throughout my, my uh, uh, entrepreneur career. So when we look at Think and Grow Rich, man, this is Napoleon Hill's really the godfather of self-development. He really started this whole entire movement. And, and I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Napoleon Hill was commissioned by Andrew Carnegie uh, back in the, the early 1900s. And he basically asked Napoleon Hill, he's like, look, man, I, I want you to devote uh, decades of your life. I'm going to open up my black book to all the richest, most elite human beings on the planet. And I want you to go out there and study them, live with them, learn from them, study them for, for several decades, for, for two to three decades of your life. And then I want you to write a book on what the commonalities are or were, right? And that's what this book is. This book is so, goes so deep into manifestation, visualization, goal setting. Um, there's so many components of this. So not only is it a book that's going to motivate you and inspire you to go out there and do great things and it'll probably bring you to tears like, like it's done me so many times, you know, right? But don't uh, uh, fall short on the visualization and manifestation that he goes through. You know, he talks about inside your mind uh, uh, each and every day. Spend 20 minutes just visualizing the life that you know you want. Like you're driving your dream car up to your dream, you know, home. You're walking in the front door. You're cooking in the kitchen. Like make what you want already exist in your head and manifest on it so damn hard that it already exists in your head, right? And these are exercises that he learned from the most elite human beings on the planet. And if you study the most elite people today, it's no different. They're all doing the same thing. So Think You Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. All right, so number two, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So for real estate agents, uh, th this is one of my favorite books of all time for real estate agents, right? Because what is the business that we're in? We're not in the real estate business. We're in the human resource, human connection business, period. 
right? It's our job to go out there and connect with as many human beings as we possibly can, get them to know us, like us, trust us, be aware of what we do for a living, follow it frequently, our business continues to grow. And in today's world with technology and as busy as people are, we've lost this element. You're right. People don't take the time to show people that they truly care. They hijack conversations. They're, they're, most people are terrible communicators. And for you and I, it's so critical to be a, an amazing communicator. And an amazing communicator doesn't mean you're a good talker. It means that you are a great listener. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason, right? You listen twice as much as you talk. You got to learn to ask the right questions, be interested in them, and get them engaged in talking about everybody's number one favorite subject, which is themselves, right? Nobody likes us because they think that we're cool. They like us because of how we make them feel about them, themselves, right? Um, so this becomes really important. How you make them feel good about themselves is you be genuinely interested. So this book is, is really the Bible on how to go out there and have those deep connections, which is more important today in our industry than ever before. Um, so how to win friends and influence people. Now, the next book here uh, isn't really a book. You might be able to get it in a book, but it's, uh, I, I listen to it, the, the audio cassettes, you know, right? Or now I download it onto to my iPhone. Um, but it's The Art of Exceptional Living by Jim Rohn. So the first two books, Think and Grow Rich is going to motivate and inspire you, but it's got a lot of great tactical information and exercise to be doing each and every day as far as goal setting, visualization, manifestation. Right. Book number two um, is working on your skill sets to go out there and how to be a good connector and a good communicator. And, and one thing I forgot to say on, on book number two, how to win friends and influence people, you guys, think about this. When you go on a listing presentation or buy a consultation, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody is choosing you based on how badass your presentation is. Yeah, right. Everybody makes decisions off of emotion. They're emotional based decisions that then they try to rationalize in their mind. So their choice to go with you is all based around their feeling and how confident they, how, how confident they feel uh, inside that you are the best person for the job. And who they're going to go with is who they connect with on the, the most level. As long as your presentation is somewhat good and, and you, know, you show uh, exude confidence while you're in there, you know, right? But the rest of that all boils down to connection. All right, so then The Art of Exceptional Living by Jim Rohn. Uh, it is a six uh, CD disc set. I don't know how long it is, but it's hours and hours and hours of great content. This is a book for about the last decade that I've been streaming more than anything else. And I'm actually a, a stream, a, a stream it still to this day um, and, and listen to it at least, uh, um, you know, I've probably listened to the whole audio set about uh, half a dozen times a year still to this day um, and have been doing that for the last decade. Um, this book, man, as far as, again, insp inspiration, motivation, because look, you guys, we are in a crazy business. Our, our clients get emotional, things get emotional, negative shit comes up. You know, we, we got to protect this. We got to keep this right. So we always want to be pumping that, that great information in there. Um, but as far as tactical knowledge and tactical information, you know, it talks a lot about wealth creation plans, talks a lot about uh, effective goal setting, um, uh, talks extremely heavily on our own personal philosophies which will have more to do with our success than anything else. Uh, so this is my favorite book for overall personal philosophy. All right, so um, the next book is Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. So in this book, he breaks down, so Robert Cialdini, if you don't know who he is, he's, he's one of the most brilliant uh, human behavior psychologists of our time. Uh, he's st still around today. And this guy spent 30 years of his life he and his science team going out and, and doing experiments with the general public on getting in and figuring out like how, how do people do what they do? How do they make decisions? How do how does you know everything from like what, what makes a great server that, that gets an insane amount of tips? Like how, how, what are their strategies and tactics to do that? Right. And every single industry out there, not just every industry, you know, right? Um, uh, they break down, you know, just people in, in day to day life. Um, but he's boiled it down to six main influences uh, uh, that that trigger human behavior to go out there and, and say yes, to go out there and consume, you know, right? Six human behaviors that are gonna, gonna get people to choose to utilize you. Like the first uh, 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 behavior um, and the first, um, I don't wanna call it art of influence, I don't know the exact term that he utilizes in the book, um, but is the law of reciprocity, you know, right? And the power of the law of reciprocity. You know, this is why if you've ever heard me talk about my mega open houses, how I go out there and offer free mega open houses to for sale by owners. And then I give them so many free resources. I just give, 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 and I become a resource for them. Look, we know statistically that only 8% are going to sell. 92% are not going to sell on their own. And 60% of for sale by owners today, right now in 2019, 
end up eventually listing with a real estate agent. So I'm just focusing on, on, on that human connection piece through law reciprocity. So this is hands down the greatest sales book that you'll ever read for real estate. Because what we do is not necessarily sales. You know, we're not dealing with, with one person, one consumer on the other end that's maybe like buying a, a watch or a car. Yeah, right. We're dealing with a co-broke realtor, managing that relationship. Yeah, right. Um, um, and we're just managing different personalities. And we have to be able to know how to control those personalities. Right. So in my opinion, this is the best sales book that you ever read. All right. So book number five and the last book here on my list is Loving What Is by Byron Katie. This book is massive uh, when it helps just dealing with, with, with the negative shit that happens, what, whether it's haters coming at you or negative clients or, or, or as we're growing and expanding our business, man, there's a lot of negativity that can come to us, right? It might be as you're, as you're leveling up and growing and expanding your life, it might be dealing with a tough time with a family member, you know, or whatever. This really puts it in perspective. And she's got a whole entire philosophy uh, that she breaks down that walks you through um, uh, just how to deal with the negative shit, those negative emotions. You know, when we start feeling pain or resentment or, or anger uh, inside of our business and inside of, of, of our lives, you know, she helps you get back on track with her process. I highly recommend for this book right here, Loving What Is by Byron Katie, that you listen to the audiobook instead of reading the book. In the audiobook, in addition to the book, she actually brings on at a conference live clients to the stage and does live walkthroughs with what she calls uh, of doing the work, right? She does the work live with them. And these are extreme people. I mean, like extreme situations, extreme circumstances. You know, like one of the ladies in, there were, uh, in her younger years was molested by her father. Like I can't even fathom what, what that's like. But, but being able to, within a f you know, five minutes of, of her being on stage, switching around her personal philosophy um, and giving up a lot of that resentment and pain. You know, not saying that she's saying it's okay. Yeah, right. But being able to, to give that up so then she can go out there and, and, and just truly live the rest of her life. And in real estate, man, it's such an up and down and emotional business. I had a buddy of mine I was climbing the Grand Canyon with one time and, and he made a joke. He's like, man, in, in real estate, you know, people ask me if, if I ever do drugs. He's like, man, I don't need to do drugs in real estate. I already got so many highs and lows in real estate, right? I um, mean, there is, man, there's a lot of highs and lows. Well, in, in order for us, as we are experiencing those highs and lows, man, we got to stay on our A game. Um, and this will help expand your mind to be able to do that and have the tool sets to go out there and do that. All right. So again, you guys, those are my top five books. Now I've got this guide all uh, ready, prepared for you. All you have to do is comment in the comments. If you're watching this on uh, live right now on Facebook, just comment what your favorite book is uh, uh, that you've read that you'd recommend uh, to anybody else. Um, or if you don't have a favorite book or if you just uh, are, are, are struggling with anything inside your business or life and want a recommendation on maybe whether it's a good book or um, another uh, uh, element of self-development. And I could do my best to help you out with that. All right. So let's, uh, let's jump on into you guys' comments and see what you got going on here. All right. So Ryan Thompson says five by five. I haven't actually heard of that book, um, but I'll definitely, definitely check it out. I'm going to, well, these will all come up. So I'll make a list of these uh, and, and write it out. So um, Albert says gold. Um, not sure if you're meaning that the, the content is gold or if that's your favorite book. Francisco says 10X. 10X is dope, dude. Uh, 10X uh, uh, was, um, you know, a book that I was going through a tough time, just like we all do. We all have ups and downs. About halfway through my career, when I first met Grant Cardone about six, seven years ago, and uh, uh, it was funny, you know, I'm at this, at this conference and he's the keynote speaker. So this is before Grant Cardone was like the YouTube online influencer sensation that he is today. And uh, so he's the keynote speaker. And I see this dude out in the hallway, like setting up his books. And I go out there, introduce myself to him. I start talking to him and ends up being Grant Cardone. So I'm having a great conversation with him. I buy all of his books. I ended up opening 10X in the hotel room. I didn't, I didn't even leave the hotel room for the next conference, man. I just skipped the rest of the conference, dug so deep into that. He's got another book that I love, um, Be Obsessed or Be Average, which is probably my favorite all-time book of his. Uh, but then Rich Dad, Poor Dad, of course, that's an absolute classic. Psychology is Selling by Brian Tracy. That's an uh, awesome book as well. Uh, Sell It Like Saren. Yeah, I haven't read that, dude, but the dude's a, a pimp for sure. Um, um, let's see. Uh, Richard Crafts is the compound effect. Yeah, compound effect, you guys, is it, it's a hard part when I'm putting together this top five list. Yeah, right. Um, and when I'm putting together the top five list, I'm try, I was trying to encompass, you know, all, all different aspects, like the best sales book, 
the best uh, goal setting book, the best personal philosophy book, the best mindset book, the best you know manifestation book. And there's so many damn bo uh, great books out there. Uh, Darren Hardy though that wrote the Compound Effect. So if any of you uh, uh, struggle with consistency inside your business, you know, consistently, consistently following up each and every day, consistently doing those boring, mundane tasks that we have to do each and every day to go out there and create success. That's a dope, epic book. And he's actually a personal mentor of mine, Darren Hardy. He is an absolute bad ass. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, we got uh, Greatest Salesman in the World. Love it. Can't Hurt Me by David Coggins. Um, uh, um, boom, 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 boom. Great audio book for mindset is The Power of Purpose. Hell yeah. Reading the Laws of Human Nature. Man, a lot of these that I haven't even heard of. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, you guys, and, and uh, uh, you know, again, just with those two rules that I talked about with your self-development, be very cognizant of this because it's so easy to get in this trap where self-development, again, it becomes entertainment. And it just becomes, ends up being just a colossal waste of fucking time. You know, I might as well be binge watching some shit on Netflix, you know, right, for how most people self-develop. You know, right, they, they might take a, a recommendation from a friend or, or, or whatever. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, but you, you, if you've heard the, and I don't know who said it, it's just a, it's, it's a unknown ancient proverb. Um, but there's a saying out there that the, the student appears when the teacher is ready. And a lot of times that, that teacher, we don't allow that teacher to appear in our life. We're not ready is the student, um, until pain shows up, you know, right? So I'm always looking at, and I call it the GSD mode model. I'm always identifying what is the outcome that I want? What is the, so that's the first part of it. And the second part is what are the problems and obstacles in the way? I'm going to get very clear on those. You know, right? Like what is that, that thing right now in my way? Like right now I have one for an example in one of my businesses, um, uh, which is scaling Facebook ads. You know, right? It's been a problem of mine for about a year now. And I've been trying, just going after and trying so many different solutions to it. Um, in this business, I spend about 50 grand a month on Facebook ads. And uh, uh, the second I spend a penny over that, just everything breaks. You know, right now it's a good problem to have. It's like the results are so great. I want to be spending a hundred grand a month, but I haven't been able to go out there and spend it. So I'm just obsessed on solving that problem because if I can solve that problem and, and triple the revenue that comes in from that problem, it solves uh, uh, every other problem that I have inside that business. And, and as we're growing and expanding in, in our, our businesses and lives, you know, right at each, each, each point as we grow and expand, and there's a different um, a different element of self-development that's needed. You know, the, over the last two years, you know, I, I've spent the first 12 years of my career doing a lot of just business coaching, working with a lot of real estate coaches, a lot of business coaches, reading a lot of business books. Um, in the last two years, you know, I got to a point where I was like, man, I, I, I don't know if it's, it's business information that'll get me to the next level. It's got to be something in here, right? It's got to be some internal blocks, you know, right? So I started working with the first peak performance coach I've ever worked with. Her name is Camille Rose. And I, I'm so thankful that she came into my life and I found her. She's been such, such an amazing epic coach and such a blessing to, to work with, you know, right? But going deep into internal blocks and shit that I didn't even know existed, right? And doing work on those important relationships in my life as, as I grow and expand and making sure that I'm just energetically aligned in my personal life, in my business to get me to the next level. Right, because to get to the next level, man, I can't have uh, um, any internal guilt going on, or, or not have the tool sets to be able to go out there and, and deal with that. Um, all right, so Ryan's as far as books, be obsessed or be average for sure. Also, the laws of human nature, and right now, the power of awareness. So Ryan uh, uh, just uh, uh, recommended to me. Ryan's a good buddy of mine, and also a business partner of mine. Uh, uh, recommended uh, The Power of Awareness recently. And I just started reading it yesterday. I'm five chapters in, and that's a dope-ass book, man. It's extremely powerful. If, if any of you are looking for, for um, the affirmation process and the visualization manifestation process, again, I'm only five chapters in, but that book has been badass thus far. Um, all right, you guys. Well, I don't see any other comments or any other uh, anything else in here, so I'm going to end it there. This is just a quickie for today. Uh, next week, I'm going to be back, same time, same place, uh, talking about the three ways that real estate agents make money. Regardless of what the level that you're at, there's only three ways that we make money in this business, and I'm going to go deep in that. All right, so Erica says, um, for practical daily steps to work on meditation by creating the life that you want, don't just sit there. Um, by be it, I'm Simkin. Uh, no, epic. Yeah, no, love it. And meditation is so important, especially in the world that we're in today with this you know, uh, uh, with all social media and the devices, man, we can't, you, you know, you, you know, there's a problem when we can't spend five minutes by ourselves 
no interruptions, no TV, just be there with it on thoughts for five minutes, how painful that can be. You know, you know that becomes a problem. So love it, love it, love it. All right, you guys, awesome suggestions. If you want a copy of this download guide, um, all free, all you got to do is uh, comment what your favorite book is or what you're struggling with. Um, and you will get shot over a copy right now to you. I recommend that you do it anyway, because here's why, right? This tool that you guys are going to see with this is called mini chat. So this is a new tool that I've been using. So as you do these Facebook lives to your buyer, potential buyer leads, seller leads, whatever, like maybe you're talking about, you know, it's coming up on summertime. Hey, you know, so you maybe you go on, on Flipboard, you find an article that was put out on, on the top five uh, 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 things to do under a thousand bucks. Um, you know, to get your home shown as best for, for this summer, you know, whatever. And you create a Facebook live for this. Um, when they comment here in the comments, when it's live, they automatically opt in to this tool called mini chat, which mini chat is for Facebook messenger. Think of it as your CRM with, where you can do broadcast mass emails, drip emails. Um, um, it's the same thing, but for Facebook messenger is an 84% open rate. And I, when people comment, boom, um, they don't have to uh, 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 um, do anything else, right? They just, they just comment and boom, get the guide. Michelle Brooks says, who is this guy? Nice to meet you, Michelle Joshua Smith. Um, you have to check out some of the other content on the page or check out my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about me. Uh, if you go on YouTube, just uh, search Joshua Smith and you'll find uh, me and about a thousand other videos, podcast interviews, uh, all specific to the real estate space, real estate industry. So, um, but this, this tool is sick, right? You guys, this is, if you're not utilizing messenger bots, um, you're, you're, you're going to be missing out. Um, and uh, uh, it's an epic badass tool. So I recommend that you just type in something so you can just test it out and see what it looks like. You can always opt out if you don't like getting shit from me. So um, anyway, guys, uh, um, uh, so Randy says exactly, be careful, uh, uh, read what you need in the now. Yeah, and that's so important. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this, then I'll shut up. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, like here's an example. You know, I, I recently read Principles by Ray Dalio, epic, amazing book. And, and don't get me wrong, there's some things that I got out of it. I mean, but 90% of that book, I mean, this is a guy that, that has created the number one most successful hedge fund to ever exist. You know, I mean, thousands and thousands of employees. Yeah, right. Um, and so many things in there. I just, I, it, it's just at a whole different level than I'm at. Yeah, right. Compared to me, you know, just little old Joshua Smith over here operating a real estate team. Yeah, right. I mean, I have of uh, two uh, two full time transaction coordinators, listing coordinator, office manager, recruiter, and, and uh, twenty seven full time agents, about thirty part time. Um, you know, doing about six hundred home sales a year. It's a whole different level than where he is, right? So a lot of that stuff, I'm just not ready to receive yet. You know, so I kind of bookmark a lot of that book, and I'll revisit that later. Um, so anyway, you guys, I truly appreciate you checking this out. We'll be here next week, or I'll be here next week, same time, same place, talking about the, the three ways and the only three ways real estate agents make their money inside this business and how you need to and must devote at least 80% of your time and 80% of your time, energy, focus each and every day to those three things. All right, boom, you guys, much love to you all. Keep kicking ass, and I will talk to you soon.